There we go. Audio's back on now too. Fantastic. Audio oh, hey, is audio's broken. Back. For some reason. I didn't even know that we were having that kind of difficulty. Yeah. I hope that wasn't for too long. I hope that was only since the reboot. Um, you were still able to hear the audio while we were down there, right? I'm asking yeah. the actual people who were in chat. Um, fantastic. We will find out in a moment. You are now beginning to exit once more into the depths of the ocean as you daisy chain with the lights out. Rifter, right, Rifter just closes work. his eyes and says, Strunhoff, I'm trusting you. Here as he grabs onto your, your hand. I hate this. I would say so as well, but um, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that that I hate, it's being down here. I understandable. The path continues as you make your way around, this time with more of the spawns having been littered upon the ground. Alright, let's... Each of them is them at area. this time Darius. Mm. They are not luminescent, but they are transparent. You can see somewhat through their skin as they are vaguely of humanoid shape, but also <coughs> vaguely have a little bit of an egg or a core within them. Is it as you're able to kind of see through them a little bit. Oh. That's messed up. Oh, this isn't just confirming Well, nobody at all. else knows that. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm so glad there's nothing bad happening. This walk is so soothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I saw anything, though, probably would have freaked out. Yeah, I especially hate I'm... translucent stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It seems like for the. Uh... As you're continuing through, some of the, some of you bonk into the rusty shards of metal that are scattered about in the remnants of the old tunnel until Akla barely bumps into one of them, and you hear it start to growl a little bit. Move away. Darius just just stops uh, in no. his tracks and like squeezes the hand of uh, Lorik a little bit. We all freeze as well, I presume? Yeah, Lord um, passes a message down the line. All if right. that is in interpreted as a message. Yeah, I, I assume I, we would have thought It works this well since we were all stuff. saying, hey, here's some message. Um, I didn't say that, I just said I squeeze his hand. I would like everybody <laughs> oh. to uh, roll me a flat d20 and I shall roll one for Rifter. Fucking better than initiative. Yep. Oh boy, no it's not. No, not really, no. <laughs> okay. It's been nice, guys. Strong. <laughs> As Golden I'm gonna go ask for a backup the character. signal, he takes that that something is going bad. How would you handle that, Golden? Um. Bolts, 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 bolts! That seems like a bad idea underwater. <laughs> I panic and do nothing. <laughs> uh, I don't like the answer. Give me a different <laughs> answer. Uh. uh what kind of answer are you looking for? Uh, I mean, I rolled one, a three here. Yeah, you rolled a yeah, but he rolled a one, so he's the one who's supposed to be having the bad event happen. Do you, want right. a, do you want me to lightning bolt like the far right? You know what? Fuck it. Okay. He 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 he. In you're right. He does panic, and that's why he lets go and he moves off to the side and ends up bumping into it again. At which point it emits a growl, and you hear some of the other ones begin to growl, and the entire arena begins to 
kind of be lit up as each of them begins to glow with a soft light green aura and start moving towards you all. I'm the I only part like of move, 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 move. I'm the only and, other person and who yank can see. Away. Why would I bump into it on purpose? You don't bump into it in purpose. Doesn't you matter. fucking yeah. one. We we move you, anyways. Even in your panic, even though you could technically like see with the feeling or whatever, you're panicking. Okay. Just let it happen. Right, He's, he, Darius is like pulling really hard on Laura in a, like a certain direction. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, well, I, I pull on. I'm, I'm, it's... I'm, I'm pulling. Uh, what's it? Um, hey, Doppler. Doppler. <laughs> yeah. You should probably be keeping up with the party right now. Or you're about to get your ass. Oh, the choo choo train. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, that get on the choo Um, uh, as the party uh, um keeps moving, Lorik is going to use Dragon Fear on the um fish monsters. We. It's the only that they have to see you, right? Yes. See okay. or hear me. Um, see and hear me, rather. I hope these things actually hear. So, amidst the roars for most of them, what's the DC on it? Uh, that would be a DC 15. 15, okay. The two of them from behind, Darius and Schoenhoff, are able to tell, continue chasing, but the two. Sorry, not. Side. Two of them to the left continue chasing, but the two on the right both begin to like odulate away. Um, I throw a concussion bit at it, the only one in front of us. Go ahead and do that. Please. Eh, it's okay. It strikes as golden as he attempts to move past and hits him. All right, you, you, no, nothing. It, it just like it's kind of like hold on, forging in your face. Oh wait, no, no, no. Down. like roll, roll your shit, die. Okay. Hold oh on. wait, the steel damage? I forget. Yeah, is it is like a D4 for? thunder damage. Yeah, roll right. your shit. Golden as he just rushes past, takes ten points of acidic damage as it kind of grabs onto him a little bit, and it doesn't quite. It, it doesn't really tear the skin as much as it does, like, just melt away at the skin mm -hmm. of the area at which it grabs before you're able to wrestle through, and most of you begin to make your way out thanks to it being, um, the one immediately next to you being stunned, and the one, the others too far behind to catch up to you once you get going. I tap right. Golden on the shoulder and use, uh, Cure Wounds. Dire now might be a good time to get the light back out. Why is everyone calling me Golden now? <laughs> Sorry, Shun um, I open my mouth and thus let there be light. I disagree heavily. I disagree heavily. I disagree heavily. And he. I close him out. No, he, no, it's he, very easy. He, he he just says it over and over and over again as he lifts his uh, as his uh, as he lifts his hand and uh, yeah, yeah. I just out around us, completely uh, obscuring using the ring. Fantastic. And he grabs onto people and like starts guiding them through the magical darkness. And you gain nine right. health. No Strewn further off. incident. You return Hopkins. to the surface. The... There's about twelve minutes I spit left the ball in into the water, water breathing. Give or take. Oh, well, I suppose I could have gone worse. Could it have? Yeah, we could have I been. I think we got really the fuck out of the way. That's a great question. Shut the fuck up and get in the elevator. <laughs> Agreed. Darius sort of like stops for a minute in the middle of the beach, walks over to the coast of the water, gives them the double bird, gives the water the double <laughs> bird, and then walks away. Never mind. Actually, it is currently right. night time. It is? <laughs> Darius <laughs> Darius doesn't know. <laughs> True, he can't see the sky. He was bad, man. Well, Do we get out? Well, Lorik right, is something back while I was Lorik, is, Lorik is going to set the key card back to town and put it in. He's got some pretty damn ar long arms to do that from the back of the elevator. <laughs> He's Isn't it like, this wall right here? Nope. Oh. It's been like, sorry, it's been like right there pretty much every time. Oh. Okay, I was going off how 
I usually end up at the back of the elevator. <laughs> oh, time. Go to town. Go to town, go to town, go to town. Koyo. Alright, I... If nobody else has any... qualms with this, I propose we never talk about... that misadventure ever again. I don't know... Okay, Laura, okay... Paul, I thought I went swimmingly. This, but why were you so s stressed? This was not worse than the flesh for. Let's just say I don't exactly get along with underwater environments. Did you drown as a kid? Yes. He, yes, uh, Dyer. Obviously, I drowned and oh, died. Oh, man. And I'm here now. As you, you step know out of the elevator, right. it's a little bit before local noon. <clears throat> Dari sort of clears his mm. throat. <clears> throat. It's high noon. Argoth looks at the, all of you and says... Need a towel? Uh. Yeah, probably. Likely. I. I'm good. Suppose I wouldn't be unwelcome. Dury sort of walks over to the grass, opens up his bag of holding, and like, placing his hand over it, pours out the water that got into it from yeah. opening it underwater. <laughs> he uh, watches it as about like 60 gallons of water pours out. Okay, water all those trees over there, I guess. It floods slightly into the street, but luckily the street is designed for rainfall. Urgoth reaches down and from his the rather large free by your standards pack pulls out what for him is a hand towel and for all of you is a regular sized towel. Uh, I guess for Lorik it might be a bit in between. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> like that. He's also still like 12 feet tall. Ah. <laughs> we're, like, we're like nine feet tall. He's a God, big boy. He, dude, he's large size. Look at this lad. Not true. So he's a tall Goliath. Truly, the sight to be old. Yeah, he's a thick uh, boy. Look at Doppler and say, let's get this to the blacksmith. What about the uh, Spectre dude? Right. Yeah, I take out the green pumpkin. What do we Thank do you, Brad Hergoth. It. Dire, as you look at it, it's a hat. Oh, it's not a pumpkin! I put it on. I put it on. Well, he I mean, puts on the hat. hat. It's, it's a green on. hat. It's very stylish. Perhaps I, I, we should perform really our nice. normal routine of checking the museum and the Are local identifier. Uh, yep. Beat you to it. I, I, Dyer runs off to Let's identify. Who did you say beat you to it to? To the identifier. No, no, no. Who did you did you say beat you to it to the identifier? Lorik. Lorik. Uh, back to Lorik, I assume. Okay. Lorik, you hear in perfect Christmasness, despite the distance. 80 feet of Eight distance feet. between you, you hear Dyer's voice in perfect clarity as he says, beat you to it. What? Uh. <laughs> Dire, despite being on the other side of a wall now, you hear him say, what the hells? <laughs> I stop. I turn around and I say, Lorik? Dire, is that... Ah. What is that thing? Darius, you see as Lorik is just kind of talking <laughs> to himself. <laughs> Lorik, he's... he went inside. I think he's. Uh, it's that hat. He, 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 or interu like he that. interrupts him before he even says hat. You're tired, old friend. Let's lay down. Oh, well, people think you're crazy now, Lorik. Mm. If nothing else, we should go to the museum first and Dyer, what tell the fuck are you doing? Too. And also, and also, I assume we don't. I don't need to be here. He takes off the cap, and he uh, he actually says, Lorik, <laughs> without a hat on. And uh, you see Lorik in front of you, but you set it quiet, and you get no yeah. response. Oh, phew. Okay. I run up to the boys. 
<laughs> you do so, be like that. So, Dyer, do you know what the hat even does? Well, I, th I think it's pretty obvious. That it, I, I suppose. To I said, wait, I put it on, I say... Uh, Doppler? And I just imagine Dopplers. Nothing happens. I, I, I run to the identifier and I scream at Doppler and then I run out. Do so mm. Doppler, you see as he screams at you. I look for Pex. And then, <laughs> and then you ran back and then what do you do? Yeah. No, so, basically, like, he pokes his head in, he says, Hey, Doppler! And leaves with the head on. <laughs> and he begins talking again. He's like, Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? You can hear him. Yeah? Wait, what? Oh, what? the head is like a, it's like a psychic thing. Hmm. I put so, Lorik, Darius, I... both of you hear that as well. Ah, so that's what you were acting so schizo about. <laughs> hmm. Schizo Brainiac exists here. Wait. Oh. Daily cool. Schizo hat. No, I'm sorry, Doppler. Alright, you hang up. I right, take off the hat. <laughs> anyway, let's see what they can do with the statue here. I'm interested in what this hammer is as well. Just likely a basic hammer, but something special. And the sick ass hammer. sword and the tridents and stuff. Tridents? Uh, yeah. yeah. Tridents. Didn't we get some stabby electric tridents? Oh, yeah. Those yeah, were yeah, zappy yeah. sticks. Yeah, it's zappy, oh, it's zappy sticks. sticks. What's the status on my necklace? Uh, considering it has been like three hours, about the same as it was previously. How is he not done? This is outrageous. It's been hours. three re weeks in real life. <laughs> the, old, the old man demanding this shit. How am I supposed to know how long it's been? Following the in-game calendar? He's been in the dungeon the, the whole time. Well, then that explains why you don't know. <laughs> this is very well, He's been in the dungeon. It's not time passes out here. I don't know. It's usually the same. How am I but... supposed to determine what day it is after stepping out of the dungeon? I mean, that's Assumptions, kind of, yeah, I guess. I mean, maybe he doesn't know. He just walks up and he's like, hey, how's it going? Um, so... Darius, how, how about you do the talking here? You're better at negotiating this sort of thing. Mean Wait, we're selling it? We're, we're giving... Lorik, you are quite odd sometimes. Hmm. I forget the tentacles we got, too. Gordon, I have oh. you at 200 and I'm still having a hard time hearing you. Same Z's. Yeah, you keep... Not me. I hear, I hear him just... Getting quieter me. and quieter. Oh, yeah, he's getting quieter. Never mind. We're, we're losing him. I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. So, um, by the way, so since it's the party here, no, it's only the boys. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, I have a fancy book, one zappy stick, two tentacles, two magic cells, and the hat. And a partridge so we need to and get a pear these, tree. Yeah, and we need to get these, uh, at least a zap stick and the uh, tentacles. We got to get them looked at. I would like to have looked at that book, and probably would have made that clear earlier. Yep. It is a book of virtues, and it details the story of essentially a dwarvish knight doing their duty to defend their kingdom. Is the summation of what you've understood so far, but you're only about 10% of the way through. Cool. Give up on reading. Go on to a museum. Same. Wait, no, I'll finish reading it. I'll finish reading it. That seems smarter. <laughs> it's not was, me, it's wait. Doppler. Doppler would read it. Doppler I would. would read it. Yeah. Doppler's a nerd ass bitch. God damn it, Chad. Okay. Hello again. We uh, discovered some interesting things down in this last yes. floor of the dungeon. It was in an underwater complex of sports. I thought you might be interested. She, uh, she asks to see it, what? Sure. Um, if the par if the rest of the party allows, Lork is going to put up one of the zap sticks, one of the magic cells, the 
statue buffs that we got. And was there anything else, Major? I don't, I don't, I don't think. I legit don't feel like Rifter would be fine to giving out those Abbey sticks. And yeah, and Rifter would not no, okay. give away the Abbey sticks. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the empty map? Like mine. Empty. We have a one forty percent, one fifty percent, and okay. Dyer, Dyer, he does mention just in the museum, he's like, we could Yo, use these as weapons. These bombs seem super fucking handy. Exactly. They're not meant to be bombs. I mean, Lord, would you would you like to try getting hit by this, this and see if it explodes? I would not. I have been in the blast radius before. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you. This could be weapons. Dude, how are these not super fucking useful? Keep them. It's an improvised mm. yeah. bomb. Cool. As simple as that. Alright, so let's let let me take both sides and say perhaps we don't donate an active explosive to a museum. This too. Mm -hmm. That's fair, I suppose. We can donate this. I take she the puts up our hands. Also, let's and not give away says, all of our loot. I agree with Darius. Once again, Darius tends mm -hmm. to be. She kind of looks around for a moment. Uh, reasonable. Um. Sometimes I feel hand, like I'm the only one. I hand the fancy book to Darius and I say, J we can donate this. And I, I step out. Is that oh, the book that Doppler has? No, I, I, no, me and we, me and Rifter, we each stole a bunch of right. one book. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and I assume sort of like... Rifter will be fine with that as long as he gets to keep the set. Yeah, we literally have a library. I should have like a shit ton of books, right? Huh. Yep. Did you, you read have, it? Mostly they are on um, medicine as they were what you were looking for. If I recall correctly, you found about yeah. four. What yeah, I looted a ton of books. On? Darius sort of looks over, what is this book about? Am I even fucking with you? I thought I was getting the armor checked out. I'm talking yeah. Dyer. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Dyer, Dyer's like, oh, that's a dwarvish, I don't know. Also, you have two because Rifter also gave you his to, pre to preserve his zap stick. See what I mean, Grissa. During this time, we would have had some conversation with this identifier. Yes, you would. He uh, looks at the two of you as you enter. Ah, hello, friends. How do you... And then he kind of stops for a moment as Dyer rudely yells through the door. What's that about? And then I don't know. And says his thing is... And then I start talking to Dyer. <laughs> And Apparently then I put my we hand have on Doppler's forehead and ask if he's all right. Apparently we have a <laughs> telepathic hat. And that sounds like I have one last job. Shame. How can I help? Uh, uh, I clang a clang the armor and be like this. <laughs> yeah. What? Found this in an underwater castle sort of situation, surrounded by moss that weren't able to eat it. He is immediately intrigued by it and as you are now all able to get a proper look at it without the entire thing being a life or death situation it is a orichalcum breastplate with runes on top of it that are constantly changing and shifting around the object, not only moving, but changing shape and size. Cool. Mm. He is exceptionally interested in it, and uh, asks, before I even look at it, can I... At least have an assumption that you might be willing to sell afterwards. Uh. Only for a good price. For a very good price. I mean, look at that craftsmanship. I don't have to be smart to know that's worth a lot. He he just waves his hand. He's like, smart, fair. I I shouldn't have asked. I'm sorry. I'll I'll let you know as soon as I can. Okay. <laughs> So we um, go back to the other people then while he's evaluating, uh, I guess? Does he only do... I, I haven't actually been around for post-dungeon stuff before. Uh, like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it really only for magical items or for everything? It's pretty much everything. Alright, then I hand him the knife and I'm like, I found this as well. The, uh, like, the Blackstone knife? The Blackstone knife, yeah. Uh, 
he asks the two of you for the three silver for each item. Yeah. We pay it. Um. Fantastic. Fantastic. You are free to go. All right. Cool. We return to the museum to help these guys with their conversation. <sighs> and then Derry sort of like shoves. We're walking them arguing the about a bomb, I presume. Derry yeah, like that sounds about right. Head, <laughs> shaking his head, saying how he sh they shouldn't add a, add a bomb in while he's got his hand sort of like like elbow deep into his bag that doesn't look like it goes that deep <laughs> sort of like rooting around oh in well, any let's case, keep the bombs we... i like the bombs in any yeah, case we do this. have in any case we do have this statue bust we... we unfortunately weren't able to recover the entire thing we were short on time down there as it was underwater But it was an interesting find, and hopefully it would be of some value, at least, to the museum. She kind of looks at it and spins it around a little bit. Given that it's the bus, she's able to handle it relatively well. And she asks if you... Well, do you happen to know anything else about it, aside from the... She kind of holds her word for a little bit, I guess. The fact that it was wet? <laughs> well, it was about self-harm. Well, I can see that. We, oh, I'm we sorry, I didn't know how much we had. We discovered it in an, uh, in an odd underground ca cavern underneath a uh, sort of facility that seemed to be built by dwarves that, when functional, was essentially an underwater building. And um, it seems to be over some sort of site of excavation that was guarding something. And uh, uh, seems to be about sacrifice to some kind of ancient blood god. She Perhaps. she just waves her finger at the two of you and says, "See, that's the kind of stuff that you can make a story of." Thank you. Um, it, uh, you it... might also be interested that. Uh, it was also nearby a sort of altar that allowed us to uh, cast Misty Step, believe it or not, if we sacrificed blood. So I believe it was likely related. Huh. Well, now I certainly want it. Um, how would you feel about 30 gold for it? That seems to be a fair price. More than fair. Alfred! Ah, and also we do have the latest emblem from the key card, if you would like that. Alfred comes over, they discuss the price for a little bit. She's like, she she begs him on eventually. He's like, oh, fine, grabs it and does it. And she takes the key card and scans it as well as you get your 30 gold. Darius sort of winks at Alfred and says, you know I wouldn't scam you, chum. Chum. And then he sort of covers his mouth as he says, Chum, dear god. No, I've never known you to say that sort of thing before, Darius. Don't okay, say Darius? a word. Chum. No, we all heard it. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. I'll hold off. For now, at least. I understand that you'd be chummy with this guy by now, so, you know. Uh, are we splitting the gold? <sighs> It's all mine, obviously. Of course we're splitting no, the that's tire. Unfair. Come on, man. Well, in any case, I intend to make another payment on the cloak and likely spend a good portion of the rest of the day in the tavern if anyone wants to join me. I was probably going to go back to the house and get, you know, some dry clothing. <laughs> yeah, same Z. Actually, that, that that is a good idea. That is a good idea, but I'm going to attempt to see if I can uh, at least dull the 
sensation of being down there. You can't get drunk. Hmm. Correction. Yeah. It's not difficult out. for him to get drunk. Mm. Well, since Lorik said that he couldn't, Dyer thinks he could. Ah, the, second that, the second that Lorik said, I'm going to try and dull it, he pulls out his uh, flask and tosses it towards Lorik. <laughs> hey, Lorik. Yes? Give me a sleight of hand. Oh, dear. You know I'm not good at I do know you're He's not, not good at it. Hmm? I'm going to roll a hand in the uh, dungeon. Understandable. But wait, no, it should be the same in this one, so. This is how oh, the marriage. Okay, look. How the marriage ends. Ah, oh, fine, you're doing it there anyway. You see, as it. As the first time he catches it, he actually does not catch it, and he fumbles, it begins to fall to the ground, and as he reaches over, he manages to catch it at, before it crashes on the ground. Jesus. His hands are still. Sorry about that. Darius just kind of shrugs. It's made of leather. Hmm. Oh, really? I, thought it was I suppose. <sighs> well, suppose that removes any need to go to the tavern. Hey, why why go out when you could day drink in your very own home? Hmm. That's what we in most cases for. I will in most cases I wouldn't exactly consider those words wisdom. But... He gets closer to you as you ask that question. But given the circumstances, I suppose you're not entirely wrong. And Lorik, he he like he like puts his he he says, "Look me in the eyes. Mm. Do not drink that quickly. That is, you need to drink that much slower than you're used to drinking normal alcohol. Much much slower." All right, then I wasn't needing to drink that much of it anyway. I saw how you reacted to it. Just forewarning you, don't treat it like it's normal alcohol. Wait, that does something to you? I look at Darius. I. Oh man. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I'm going to. Well, yeah, I'm going to see if the smith is <laughs> as many progress and make a bit Actually, of an extra this payment. time it's a cheese. I don't know if he's a carnivore or not, though. The cheese Four? has oh, a yeah. similar fate as the jerky. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want him to be hurt anymore, guys. <laughs> feel pain. Casey said he felt pain. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Oh yeah, Slurig is metal as shit. Oh, uh, Lothar, one question. Hi. Did my mimic need to breathe? Yes, it did. Did it die? No. Oh. I, I hug it. <laughs> All right. It is currently shivering. Oh, let's oh. get that poor does it baby have, does to it have the fire. I, I dump it out. Is there water in there? Yes, there is, in fact, water within it right now. Oh, f <laughs> scramble. I, I dump the water out, and I... Um, I. It, it turns itself into a scarf and wraps around you. Is it gonna, oh, it's gonna oh that is adorable. Either. All right, oh. let's get that poor thing in front of a fire. You feel only slight, only very, very slightly suffocated as it squeezes around <laughs> your neck. Uh, all right, you know what? I deserve it. Uh, uh, we let's let's go let's go somewhere else. Darius sort of, as we're going down, sort of pulls the uh, the hammer that he picked up uh, out of his bag and sort of just starts looking at it. You want to give that to the identifier, dude? Maybe. He's looking over thinking... the armor right now. I was thinking more on the uh, lines of the smith, considering we found this in Dwarven ruins, and might as well learn from the source. 
Oh, yeah, I probably could have thought about that with the armor, huh? Um, um, but the armor seemed magical. True. Lorik is going to um, come up to the smith and uh, offer a wave of greeting as he um, basically just asks if he's had any luck with actually getting the enchantment to stick on the cloak. He looks up and he, it's only been like two days, right? I thought it was like four days or something like so that. It's been... Never mind. Oh dang, I but didn't put it in my record. Before. I guess I will have to believe you that it's four days because I did not write that down. Damn Because it was on... Wait, no. It has been two days. Never mind. Okay. Um, in that case, I don't actually ask if he's had any luck with getting it sticks so far, but I do offer him an extra five gold and five silver of payment. He takes it. Thank you, lad. Thank you. Uh, at the moment, he is currently treating um, some of the necklace as it stands. I'm just glad to have someone as capable as you working on that cloak. He smirks a little bit and has a soft smile to him. I'm going to go ahead in the house and stir fun. Does, uh, does Dyer still have the tentacles? Yep, I flop them in. I, I, I kind of walk up and ask, so, uh, how do you, how do you want to, what do you want to do with these, then? So, what if we, do you want the longer or the shorter one? Or do you want both? You know, you, you, you did this, so. We should give Rifter well, the zappy I, sticks, I think, probably. Did somebody say two tentacles? To... I intended to let you Wait. have at least one from the beginning, but I would like two first to study both of them. I, I think that's only logical. I can't figure much out with this. I put two tentacles in your hands. And I kind of just like look at them like slightly squeamishly and say thanks. And I put them in my pack. <laughs> I walk oh, into the... Uh... This. I remember how things went. Yeah, don't More... don't, don't worry Bro about it. We'll figure we'll figure that out later. I'll trust you, and we'll figure it yeah. out later. And uh, I'm gonna. Does the bar let me take beer outside of the bar? It, they do yeah. because you have been there on multiple occasions and shown yourself to not be in poor company with yourself. Uh, so I'm going to take a beer and go up to my private quarters in the Mages Guild and start uh, examining these tentacles a bit more thoroughly. Excellent choice. I'll be right back. All right, then I suppose. Uh, hold on. I head back to the. Uh, sorry, Shunhoff, this... Give me a medicine oh. check. I like the sound of that. It can be in the dungeon itself. You know, we can continue the Schoenhoff bit in a bit. Continue, Doppler? I was saying that I was going to go back and read. Alright. Um, if no one wants me to look at anything tentacly with him. Um. Does anybody else stay in town for now? Oh, is going Lork to is get... looking at back to the house to um, change into his other set of clothes and be dry, finally. Huh. 
the new set of clothes or no, the no. other standard? He has travel clothes, and he has town clothes, and that's basically it. <laughs> Alright, then. People don't have a lot of clothes. Darius. Well, I have to get my picture first. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm, Understandable, have a nice wow. day. Wow, I'm sure <laughs> wish I had a time to talk. Okay, would you like to talk? Mm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It, it, was, it was Walter. The sun is a deadly laser. No. That's exactly what I was thinking no. about. All right, anyways. No. Why do, you do you have yes. your picture? <clears throat> no, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you. You don't need time to get Time-wasting son of a bitch. Um, of course. All right. Do, 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 do. You are now at your stronghold for most of you. Sork <sighs> and... Um, all right. I need to probably be on the other proper thing. Sork and Strunhoff are absent. As are Decius and August. However, hate... Is having a good old sleep. Oh, does she have sleepy bitch disease too? Uh, thanks, Walter. Call, call Please continue. Um, Lorik is going to basically immediately, as soon as he actually gets a chance. Get changed and set up, and uh, um, finally feel dry and comfortable again. And then he finally sits down at the table and takes a sip of the shock. Of the You're shock cutting out. And then he takes a sip of the shock. Stop. Once he's finally comfortable again. Indeed, you're cutting out a lot. I think he's saying he drinks. Yes, I take a sip of the shock stop as soon as I'm comfortable. I see. It is rather tasty. Am I learning anything on these here books? Yeah, I'll just read him off screen, I guess. Yeah. The first one. How long are you guys staying here? I don't know. Until Warm the memories of being underwater fade away. It sounds Until like a uh, long enough time. Doppler, near the evening, as you finish reading the book, it disappears within your fa hands, and you feel a swell of magic within you. Dope. Oh, shit. Let's... Okay. Oh my god, that's one of the plus two sap books, isn't it? Excuse me? Is it? I don't know, is I don't, it? I don't Gobble, know. What do you feel? Because you, your book just vanished. I feel charismatic. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I come uh, and be sociable charismatically with my charisma. Wow, that's great. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so, uh, Hell yeah. Uh... So let's see. Any anything else uh, that we have I'm, to do? You feel very. You feel more magical than you did earlier. Okay. Don't know what that means mechanically speaking. Well, I'm sure. But you'll it's probably it good. It's a little. You, you wanna you wanna cast spells, man. Okay. I'll cast. Um. Uh. Mending on one of the spots in my clothes where I was slashed. Wow, mending. Or damaged. You cast mending, and the clothes begin to get mended as it mends one of the single seams. Okay. Sorry, one of the single threads is what I meant to say. Singular thread. Yes. Sorry about it. 
wait, so it's just like, so does it increase the number of spell slots I get? Nope. So, okay, so I cast a second level spot? Okay. Um, I start telling you guys... Any class is the important part, which is why it's not a spell slot. Oh, so I get to learn a spell? No. Okay. The, uh. the story of Elver 2 Power after reading gives the ability to cast one second level spell each day it becomes consumed. Yes, you just get to cast a second level spell. Any fucking spell? Yes. Oh. You, you <laughs> second level the, you can cast it. Uh... Yeah. It, it means what it says. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to write that down. It seems like an important thing not to forget. <laughs> Thank you, abjuration, to, abjuration to abjuration to abjuration to abjuration to abjuration to there we go I call it spell of choice consumed no, something like that what this, you can just do it once each day oh yeah it itself is not consumed the book is consumed Okay, spell of choice. Cool. Everyone else, candy. well, Doppler kind of looks at his hands as he's like, hmm, ma yes, the magic here is made out of magic. And Strunhoff walks through the door with Slork. Did I really figure everything out about the tentacles that quick? Well, you said you're back, so you're back in character as well. What? It's been like most of the day. I finished a fucking book. It has book. been most of the day. All right. Just Did you roll me those. your medicine check? Me? Yes. When did you tell me to do that? Like 30 <laughs> minutes ago. Like it was a long time ago. When you yes. said you were investigating the tentacles. Oh, I just got up and left after I said that. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Bruh. There you go. I assume during this whole time, Lork has been slowly sipping away at the shock stop, mm -hmm. trying it's to certainly measure his pace. A strong booze. Mm. I'm guessing the mimic is probably dry by now. The mimic is, is certainly dry? dry right now, but it is cooing asleep around Dyer's neck in front of the fireplace. <laughs> Dyer died. Alright, I'm. No, oh, I had to delete the mimic. Snoring. I thank Agula for helping me tanny rack this boy, and I. <laughs> yeah. Away. No surface area and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I probably begin eating. Food is good. Yeah, eating is good. There is. Here's the, the, the rest of that. For the first bit of your consumption, the mimic stays asleep. But as you continue going, eventually it wakes up and it kind of... You, you see as a little bit of its forward appendage kind of takes the shape of a uh, small... Of, of specifically Mosier's mouth. What? You can do oh, that. <laughs> what was the gold split? Six to eight, if I recall correctly. Four to six. No, four to eight. Four to eight. So six. No. Four gold, two silver, eight copper. Oh. I rolled the check. They're fucking tentacles, and they're goddamn wet and slippery. <laughs> I'll try again later. And despite your hours of attempts, they confound you. As Strunhoff walks in, I ask him what he learned about the tentacles. Nothing. I'll go back to them later, I suppose. I love investigating all sorts of new stuff from the... Uh, dungeon, they had some weird toxin with them, right? I wanted to 
see if that was something I could take a look at if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, I don't mind, but I left them in my study. I no worries. Field. I was meaning to look up at the algae and the slime and all that sort of stuff tomorrow anyway. Perhaps I'll look over them again when I'm sober. <laughs> that would likely help your research. Not that I wasn't when I was looking them over. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Our cat was being really loud. Oh, I see. That was certainly an interesting floor. Mm hmm Lorik is probably about to uh, path out in like five minutes. Starting now. So if anyone wants to say anything to him, let me quick. I put on my hat. Hey Lorik! Mm. I I sit back down. Also, who had yeah. the Sword with the. Yeah, who got the cool either. sword thing? What happened to that? I know we grabbed. I'm assuming one. I, I thought one of you had it. I had it! Just, yeah, you I had guess. It. You literally then. said you took it. Who grabbed the um hat? I, I still have it. I have it on my head. It was Dyer. Dyer has the sword. Okay, I have the sword. I'm like, oh, I forgot about this, and just pull out the great sword and put it on the table. How do you forget something like that, Dyer? You see, as it well, shifts I for, I between being about a my great mimic. sword, a short sword, a long sword, and a dagger. Wait, mostly alternating between being a short sword and a dagger. That seems really useful. So it's just changing shapes on the table. Yes. It's not pushing anything huh. out of the way when it does so. Wait, I try to grab the handle when it's in great sword. Let's say. You grab it, and it is a great sword. And it I let it go. A great sword. Does it begin shifting if I let go? You drop it on the floor, and it continues shifting. I grab it as a dagger. It remains as a dagger. Guys, this is huge. You've done it, Dyer. You've solved the mystery. I solved the world. No, I mean, it's just... That Rifter would love a thing like that. Uh, where's Rifter? Oh, Rifter is going to sleep. We should uh, offer that up to him. The ability to sneak in with a dagger shape and then have it pull out to become a big sword? Mm. I don't know. No, but but Doppler, he his weapons are magically enchanted. I don't think he'll give them up for this. Ah, never mind. As far as I know, he seems to have his own technique going. If nothing else, this could be rather interesting to sell. Well, mm. we have so many people here. I'm sure someone would like a cool looking sword like that, you know? Of course, of course. I mean, uh, let's leave I, it I around said for if now. nothing else. Oh, okay, okay. I come and put it right here. Luckily, Darius, as you move to in front of the fire, the pages are not particularly soaked, as the potion and tablets of water breathing tended to at least mostly protect the majority of your equipment. All right. It is still good measure, as you do not know how long that ward will last, but for the moment, it is fine. Good, good, good. Does anyone else have any significant plan making they would like to do with the party? 
Um, we don't have well, anything ominous laying over us, right? Like Decius's thing? How's that going? Well, it is currently the 17th, and his thing was on the 40th. Assuming we're just returning to delving, then? Cool. Yeah. If anybody wants to go to the countryside... There it says. For what reason? Uh, Orgoth said one of his friends is up there, and he's bored as hell, so we could pay him a visit. If we want to take a break. I think it's reasonable we take short breaks between each floor. Wouldn't want to exhaust some members of the party, and from the other side of the wall, he gestures towards Lorik's bed. <laughs> hey, Lorik! I say with the head off. <laughs> I established a link earlier. You did. How It's been um, a little bit of time, and mm -hmm. everyone hears as Dyer yells, but Lorik, it is not clear for you. He's okay, also so pretty much like actually locked out. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, I take off the hat and say it only lasts like a minute. I'm not too sure how long. Darius pulls out a quill. Want to draw oh. a little mustache on him? Oh, yo! Can uh, you yeah, actually, repeat that, please? I think I misheard it. Darius pulls out a quill. <laughs> Do you want to draw a little mustache on him? Okay, I heard it exactly like it was, damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. They, there they is, do that. Hands, hands the quill to, uh, to Dyer. I'm a, I'm a sneak. I mean, he's knocked out. Right? Lead drift? Um, Lork is probably like half asleep at this point. Okay, do I roll stealth? Lead if it's your choice. And if you want to, I'm probably, yeah. Okay, alright, I'm gonna try my best. 24. Okay, probably not gonna beat that. I assume disadvantage. Lead if follow your heart. Um, okay. The two of you are interacting with each other. Yeah, it's your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're allowing me this one. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I give him. I don't give him like a, like a twirly mustache. I give him like like a like a shaggy fourteen year old that doesn't want to shave off his first couple beards kind of deal. You enact <laughs> your artistic vandalism upon his face, mm -hmm. and after the first couple strokes, ponder the absolutely terrifying thought that would be an actual dragonborn <laughs> with facial hair before continuing to <laughs> perform the act. <laughs> that's, finishing that's a, in a, a acceptable two minutes. Poor it. I, I, I leave. And I walk back to Darius, and I just say, "She can't rock a beard." I don't think he would be able to either. <laughs> Return the quill, and thus it is done. I assume when we, next time he wakes up, he'll he'll be extra handsome. Dar, you won't rat me out, will you? About what? Exactly. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wait, what was I just saying? Pardon, I spaced out a little I bit. I don't know. We're both. Uh, if anyone wants uh, the deets, his journal is still on the table. Let's see. What do you think? We're high school children? We're not going to look through somebody's journal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, there's a big draw on the someone's face. <laughs> Shaggy beard. Hmm. What do you think? We're children? <laughs> Go get his journal. <laughs> so do you look through the oh, wow. journal that was completely uh. out of character mm -hmm. uh, I, I do want to I do first of all what journal is this probably missed something Lorix no I don't Dyer would not open Lorix's journal it's rude <laughs> Yeah, he's his journal. It's almost as rude as drawing facial hair on somebody's face while they're sleeping. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. The media. No, luckily, everybody's an adult here. Of course, of course. The media blames games for making people violent. Reality. 
I don't want to look at his journal. That's a breach of trust. Exactly. <laughs> that would be that would be the bad dialogue option. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get the butterfly icon that says Lorik will remember that even though he's <laughs> I miss Telltale sometimes. Time to take a reload because we picked the raid dialogue option to the NPC. <laughs> oh yeah, you rolls with that. an E. Akla and Doppler are just sitting <laughs> on their bunk beds, just being raiding buddies. Nerd gang, pretty Nerd much. Gang. Nerd gang. Nerd gang. Yeah, Nerd gang. Nice. Shut up, Snake. You're not Nerd gang. Chad the ass bitch. <laughs> he is Chad. That's how I know him by. Mm -hmm. That's his real name to me. Yes. Thanks, G man. But, but, but I spend my whole day writing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. Your reading is for nerds. Your writing e is for chads. Hell yeah. Dude, the difference is you can actually survive a hit. Mm, that's true. That's true. A single hit. Does anyone else have anything they would like to do? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm... Not at this point. Uh, I was gonna <clears throat> express my enthusiasm with taking a break with uh, Dyer and whoever else to go see. Um, the farmer? What's his name? Forgoth? Forgoth? Forgoth's friend. His name is... Uh... Forgoth's friend. You see. Yeah, to go see the farmer. Yeah, yeah, Dyer mentioned that his name is pronounced Pharaoh, but he doesn't know how to spell it. There was a farmer who had a Goliath. What do you Slim. mean? <laughs> what was his name, Al? I love my mm. cat. He just walked up on the me and just sat in my lap while we were doing this. That's nice. He is a good boy, and I love him. Never a good boy to me, don't let <laughs> Well, he does is come over and knock stuff off my desk. Good boys support good boys. <laughs> it's him, the hero of the storm. Oh. Listen, uh, kid, you might think story. you're the hero of this story, but you're not. Truth is, this kid right here is this, this boy, this furball right here in me lap. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real plot twist is that the cat controls the dungeon. Oh, yeah. Did I ever tell you guys that my cat's name is Hector? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, was no. it actually? No. <laughs> no. Oh, I, I, I said that great. entirely wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, it's she. Oh no! What did you think about oh, Hector's no. character, Hawk? Hector? In uh, Castlevania. Oh, that one. Uh, I ah, think that Hector, the, yeah, yeah. I think, I think something's gonna happen, because in the games, he's like Big Ding Dong, but in the thing, he's like literally just... Soy Boy? Uh, oh, Hector. Yeah, he's, like, he's just a block of tofu getting kicked around by all the girls. That's literally all that's happening to him. Sounds about right. Um, I don't know. He's he's supposed to be fuck. Supposed so be it is. <laughs> so it is Darius I... Strunhoff and Dyer who head out to Urgoth's friend. I mean, if you guys you. wait till the next day because it's evening right now, then Lork would join. No, him. yeah, yeah. Um, we're waiting. and We're not hitting it right now. Oh, I see. You wait until morning. Does anybody else have any other shenanigans over the course of the night? Are we doing this now Chat. or what? We can do this now. Oh, if we're doing it now, I could come. Hell yeah. You can come. Uh, to clarify. I spent wait, IRL now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, IRL now. Cool. I'm gonna post this in memes. Oh. 
Is it what I think it is? No. Oh, no, no. Different thing. Oh. Yes, you are. Oh. Wonderful I'm just really excited to give both their feedback on tonight. I got a lot for them. Hell yeah, I'm ready for it. As soon as we turn off <laughs> the uh, streams, the chair allowed to yell at me without fear of it being used as a case of harassment. Noise. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. So, I assume the next day rolls around, and... And everybody assembles at the breakfast <clears throat> table, and Dyer suggests... Hey, fellas, shall we go and meet Farmer Man Pharaoh? Whoa, that sounds <sighs> like a great adventure. Let's go. Yeah, it sounds yes. like it. Oh, my head. Hello, Oreg. Do you want... Fuck, I Hello, can't keep that <clears throat> Hey, uh, let's go fuck? meet the farmer man. <laughs> that leaves. I suppose uh, going and meeting <laughs> that farmer man would be alright. Who, who is sorry. he anyway? I'm sorry, my head is... Good. <sighs> you look great today, by the way. Hmm. I doubt anyone could. I doubt anyone could look great while feeling like this. Mm -hmm. Nope, you got extra help. You're always extra. Uh, uh, I mean. Mm. Wait. All right, Anyways. I'm going to see what what you're talking about. No, you shouldn't. Really, no. No. Orc proceeds to. Uh, <laughs> And this is the part where Evan feels bad about uh, not being here. True. Continue. He's missing. Yeah, true, exactly. And um, is there any sort of reflective surface in there? In where? No, I stole in all the El mirrors. In El I took all the mirrors. Bathroom. Water. Oh, I see. water is reflective. Uh, I true. Stole too. Mine. <laughs> you stole the water point. with your fast hands? It's faster hands, excuse me? Mm. <laughs> Not the tough feet, in fact. Exactly. The best stay that way, mister. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah, I mean, of course. Dude. So yeah, he attempts to find the nearest reflective surface and try and figure out what the hell Dyer has actually done. As you go in uh, and expect to have to reshuffle around some of your braids or perhaps some of your clothing. Instead, you manage to see as there's giant scribbles along the majority <laughs> of the jawline and the nose brace area of your face. <sighs> Dire! I, I turn into uh, Arabella. And I said, uh, no, wait. Is Arabella alive? Like what? She's in weed coma. <laughs> Wait, isn't Turtle Man out right now? Yeah. Out on an adventure? Yeah. Turn to... Oh, wait, um, maybe not. Whatever. I, I, I isn't he not... Into, uh... He shouldn't be there. Yeah, he's not there. I like, he's gonna see there's two Arabellas, into, uh, man. This. No, I'm, I'm gonna turn it into Rifter's character. Well, his secondary form. Nox? No, Triton Man, Vermilion, something like that. That's also mm -hmm. joining you on the um. Yeah, exactly. Table. It's gonna be like mirror image. You can't catch uh... both. Hmm. Lork <laughs> attempts to wash the um scribbles off as best he can, and he starts. He do be walking out into the. Um, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me take a look at the things, and I shall give you a answer. <gasps> give me a stealth check. No survival check. Survival. <laughs> it's it, it's applying and removing face mask. That's survival. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, let's hope I'm not too screwed up. Wisdom, you're wise, I'm right? loading character sheet. 
Time for it to become permanent, baby. Okay, survival. Here it is. Chat that meme. I, I. Alright. You can't. You managed to take it off without too much hazard. So, Lorik is just kind of glaring at, uh, at Dyer. Uh uh. No, you're As glaring you at Vermilion. As you take a step out, you see One of the two. two versions of Rifter's current disguise. Hmm. Alright, then I see how it is. Uh, Dyer, I hate to ruin the fun, but you do realize you didn't change your clothes, right? Oh, that's true. Uh, no, I. Oh, shit. I should have said it. I just assumed I did it. Yeah, he doesn't have Dyer just, clothes for Vermilion. He's just like, he just like ah, fuck. It takes you so a moment. So he does Lord. glare at Dyer. Yeah, it takes you a moment, Lorik. You have to do a double take, but then you put the pieces together. Yeah, he turns. He, turns he glares back. at him. He turns back. and He says, "Um, it was Slorik's idea." Oh, ye old despair. Dire. I look at Slorik. I I do not meet his gaze. I don't think Slorik has the mental capacity to come up with something like that. Slorik is you know? looking at you. I say, and besides, um, Slorik is too pure for that. No, you just call him stupid. You can't go back on that. Anyways, I mean, it looks good on you. Wait, did he roll high? Did he get the mustache out? Yeah, I got 19. Oh, yeah. oh. see? So yeah. Whose idea was it? I, um... Mr. Mine. Quillers. <laughs> Quillers, actually. <laughs> I said, Excuse yeah. you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, I, I, can't, I can't hold this. I know I told you I wouldn't Aquila, but it was Aquila. It's funny, yeah. though. That's the thing. I hate you all. August, expect it, expect I know it was your idea. Now, August, excuse me? Did he say August or Darius? No, I said Darius. No, I thought oh. he said August, and I was like, bruh. Pardon, do you <laughs> sure. truly think me that immature? Well, considering certain aspects of uh, last night, like you telling me to Fucking relax, as you put it. Perhaps. I I would not do such a thing ever. Darius is using his uh, diplomat charm. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, I know oh, that shit. Dyer's hands fuck. were the ones that did it. Uh, Why not Rift? I feel like I need to be the bigger man here as I push my chair back and stuff up. And I... Gesture to Slorik and say it was clearly Slorik who drew it. <laughs> yeah, give me a second. I I used I used the diplomat. You have to contest. Oh the no, one. Slorik doesn't um, have. Um, with um, yeah. what's that? Is oh, it a save? Uh, it, yeah, no, it's it's just uh, insight, I believe. Oh shit, I'm much worse at insight than wisdom saves. <laughs> oh, let's Come see. On. That's diplomat. Or, that's not enough. Hmm. <laughs> Historic. Wait, we haven't been talking for a whole minute, though. I'm pretty sure we have been speaking for a minute. It does, like, we've been speaking before you went Okay, in. if you count the prior stuff in the conversation, then yes. We're never, never getting to the floor. Hmm. It, listen, All right, it was very clearly Slork. Listen, it was my, it was my idea. Slork clearly is to, uh, dire, dire. I appreciate your this. nobility, but Strunhoff has already said it. I've already said it. I appreciate your nobility in protecting Slork, but it was Slork. I apologize. I'll be more responsible with my creatures <laughs> next time. Mm. Willingness of you all to pawn <laughs> off your childly, childish pranks onto a poor innocent slime. What do you mean? Disappointing! Excuse me? Not innocent. So, Lorik sees that he left his journal out on the table and flips the latest entry and actually crosses it out. Just kind of ignoring the party shenanigans at this point. We should head to the farm. Agreed. He Good says that he snaps right. the journal shut and uh, places, it, places it in his pack. Nice. 
Floric is officially uncharmed. Don't mm. charm the guy. <laughs> or is he, uwu? Or is he? He might be uncharmed as a status effect, but uh, as a state of being... <laughs> it never wears off. Yeah, alright. Um, <sighs> let's go. Alright, oh, so... this ought to be an interesting diversion. Yeah. By the way, Darius, uh, when was that next delivery? Uh, generally they're towards the middle of each month, so it should be soon. Alright then. Nothing else that might be able to get us a bit more information on where the play's happening. When was the play happening then, again? I believe it was the 44th. Oh, that's a shame. That lines up pretty close to our whole prophecy. Well, we're supposed to be in town on the 40th, and then after that we can just leave on the 41st and make it to Soju Pem by the 43rd easily. Perhaps. It should be interesting to learn more of this play. Of course. Shall we? I suppose. You make Lord your way. Starts making his way out. Out, following the same path. For uh, which... hold on one sec. Darius is just going to check up on around the area and see the status on the neighbor's house. And if it's like what it's what like what stages it's oh, at. Yeah. It is currently in the early stages of construction. Such as the flattening of the area beneath in the clearing of some of the grass nearby. Plus we we, we seen this yesterday, so it's not like Hey Stringhub, you look a lot re really chiseled today. <laughs> oh. Sorry, say that again. You look <sighs> handsome and beautiful. Why, thank you, but my appearance hasn't really changed since, well, I got the eye patch. He woke up mm. like that. He always looks chiseled and handsome, Dyer. Mm. Sure, maybe I'm just awakening to something. <clears throat> you feeling your emotions coming on, Dyer? Coming what? right out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Before this right, storm time. evolves any storm. further. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No. Oh, is, is that is that it? You go to the farm. Yeah. Uh, you can yeah. you can undeafen now. We're done being dumbasses. Who? Yeah. And Lorik mutters something about uh, how they uh, rag on him. It's just kind of muttering under his breath. And so the boys need to chill axe. We just got done doing scuba diving. As you guys make your way out to the location, you find yourself watching from a ways of distance as you see two Goliaths taking themselves in, putting themselves to quite busy work tending a small field as well as cutting down a tree. Oh no, they're hot. Weren't we gonna go with... What's his no, face? No, because Or Orgoth is on duty, so he just mm. told us to come here. Let's see. Oh man, is this a situation where I lead the talking? Hey, look at Darius. I don't know them. I don't know them either, really. Well, you're the one who knows you're off the sound of all of us. Yeah. I don't even know why we're here. You know, I'll just say go to a farm. I thought it sounded like fun, so I tag along. I mean, it looks fun. Well, <laughs> it it's a right. favor to Dyer's friend. Mm, I don't I don't remember him giving me anything to give him, so I, I'll just walk up. Maybe he just wanted you to check in on them. Yeah. 
I woke up, and as I approach, I try to see if they meet gazes with me. And the woman looks up from sharpening her farming equipment, and just looks at you in size a little bit before getting back to it. I look at the guy then. He is current. He wipes his brow before continuing to chop at the base of a tree. Say, uh, Pharaoh? The, the man sighs a little bit. And with a slam, the, um, the axe finds itself completely embedded Jesus. within the tree and he makes his way over. What? Um, you're friends with Orgath? Yup. Well, hello. That's it. Hello. You, uh, you live here? He kind of chews his lip a little bit. Yup. Orgoth said, uh, farm life's tough around here. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah, uh, Wait, those of you, you who were here are starting to get flashbacks to the first times you were talking to Urgoth. He says, So how's this life compared to being the guard of the town? Wouldn't know. Wait, I, don't care. Like I thought I thought he was. Face. Wasn't oh. he? Wasn't he the guard? Elorik is having a similar reaction of just watching this <laughs> train wreck unfold. You can't escape. I want to die. So, Lothar, it, it wasn't he the, the, the gate guard? No, it's always been Urgoth. Really? Yeah, it has literally always, always been Urgoth. Uh, Racist. <laughs> All Maybe we're the racists don't look now. The same. He says, uh, "Never mind." Uh, I thought Orgoth told me that you worked as a as the, the dungeon keep for a little bit. Darius sort of steps forward a little bit. Anyways, Orgoth, uh, or as far as Dyer told me, said that we should come down here and visit with you for for his sake, since he doesn't get off much. That you. Uh... You see as the woman kind of crouches down, makes her way through what's ultimately, to, to you at least, looks like far too small of a door, and then eventually brings something out and just gently leans down onto one of her knees so that you're almost face to face, and uh, hands Darius a uh, small package. No opening. Of course. And then she walks back over. Seems we've got mm. something for Urgoth. I turn to Lorik. Check the keycard. <laughs> Dyer, we're not in the dungeon. <laughs> you don't know that. Check the keycard. There is no point. I, I look at. We are I look literally at flust in town. Flustered. I look at flustered Aquila, chuckle, look at look at Ferio, and say, "Anything from town that you would like us to bring you?" You know, Borga's friends are friends. He takes a deep breath, looks at you, and says, If you bring yourself with a different attitude sometime, I'm sure we can get to know each other. And he moves back over and just picks up the axe and begins, con well, continues working at clearing the stump. Alright, he doesn't like me. He does alright. It's not bothered by Dyer. Yeah, I mean, I literally thought they were just Orga's friends. I don't know. I'm sure if you if you recall back to when we first met Urgoth as well, mm -hmm. I'm sure that we j they just need time at the very least. And he sort of makes his way away. Let's get this to Urgoth. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, hey, we got a... Uh... See, if we were in the dungeon, the key card would have lit up. Hmm. Amidst the occasional about 15 second smacks of the uh, contact between X and Stump, you eventually start hearing about every 8 seconds uh, Pyrrhus's tilling of uh, some of the soil that has recently been plucked from its um, from its food as she begins working that As you all depart. So we all went to the farm, and none of us knew why we were going to the farm. That was just no, so it would seem. That's it. That's it. We went because Zorgoth asked us to. Yeah. But... And he didn't say. Oh my goodness. It was no, also like over two him. months ago. Oh. Oh God. Because. It... But you guys don't know that. That is the only person who knows that. Listen, not not a lot of time to go around this tangent. Okay, well, let's go get this package to Urgoth yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Let's right? Let's get the package to our big man. You guys Agreed. start heading your way back home and then you turn around. <laughs> Why would we take the package that we got for Urgoth back home? Because <laughs> no, of lack of mindfulness. It. Oh, to be fair, it's the amount of thought we Well, you know what? Yeah, me and Darius, we just like... We go wait. How large what? is this item? This is not a 10-person task. Good thing we don't have 10 people. Well, Seven. Um, while they're doing that, Lord is actually going to check out the bounty board. Because as you said, it is not a 10-person task. Um... Yeah, but... We Most the of talk. the bounties have remained the same. There's a mm. new contract for a roving band of monster hunters, but otherwise remains unchanged. And get a bit more detail on a roving band of monster hunters. There is not much detail beyond simply a time and a place set upon it. You get the um, idea it that it's like... a if you uh, if you're qualified you'll get it type situation. Mm. If you have to ask questions, you're not the gun. I'm gonna go check on that armor. <laughs> well, Lork is going to note down the time and the place in case. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you. when Aquila ends up approaching him, uh, he points her to the um, hospital down the lower left of the city. So, Orgoth. Hmm. Yeah. Her... We, uh, we paid your friend Pharaoh a visit earlier today. As you can tell, it didn't take much of the day. Friendly, I assume? Uh, no. He, uh, I don't think he liked me. Sounds like he was friendly. So, um, do you have expected him to just cleave me? If he, if he was unfriendly. If he really was un if he didn't like you, he would make it known. Gotcha. Well, he did say that if I went with a Things about it for a second. Different attitude. We could uh, we we could actually establish conversation, but maybe for the next time. Perhaps. I look at Darius and say, "Oh, uh, do you have it? We have something for you." Mm. Did you know hey. if Lagan was doing well? She uh, we did not get to talk to her. Mm. They were they were quite busy. It seemed we didn't want to bother them. Mm -mm. I see. But they seemed to be doing well. Their work seemed to be coming along quite finely. And this is for you. Hi, and he sort of like holds it out. Oh, thank you. He grabs it, shakes it a little, and smiles. Thank you. Of course. All right. Let's see. He takes it and without even opening it, just puts it in his pack. Yeah, yeah. 
it is. Wave him goodbye, you know, I can go do town stuff, maybe. What else is, is there? Checks on armor. Alright. Checks oh. on armor. He is excited to explain to you what he has found. First of all, and he says this specifically, I can't seem to break it is the first thing. I know that might sound. <laughs> That's why I made sure to know that I could buy it off for whatever price you would expect if it was broken, but no, it, I could not. So, that's one thing. Secondly, you may know this, I am not much of a spellcaster. But with that, I was. So, do with that what you will. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Interesting. As Thank you. for the dagger, it has an exceptionally sharp point, and its edge is razor sharp. Perhaps even more so, razor sharp might be cut it, selling it short. Um, he takes another breath. It has, and he kind of takes out a sketch that he made, special lacerations on the end that make it so that even as it starts to dull, it stays sharp as ever. It's also, uh, he takes it and spins the hilt a little bit, and it shows as the hilt kind of has a tube on the inside that separates. A special little compartment here for what? I have no clue, as he slides it back in, twists it, and presses a little button before handing it to you. Thank you very much. But that compartment was for one of the crystals. Did we grab any of those crystals? I feel like we didn't, but should have. No, we didn't. We couldn't get a... It'd also be for poison. We didn't try it, really. So... Anyone else have so, anything? Or should we be calling it soon? Uh, did you want to look at those tentacles together? Yes. Yeah, you Can we find out something about that? Autopsy. All right, Doppler, give me the medicine check. This time, this time for the money. I'll go to. Twenty-nine, okay. Yeah, Twenty-nine is okay. <laughs> You almost immediately, given that you got to see it a little bit last night, they are much bigger than they were earlier. They are getting longer. They are continuing to grow. That is the immediate cool. thing that stands out to you before anything like else. <laughs> cool. I continue looking for other things. Okay. It continues to slither. The area, like it, as you touch it, it kind of. I wouldn't say it squirms, but it's still very loosey goosey. The area that had previously been exposed and bleeding out has now almost cauterized, starting to form a similar steel skin effect as was seen on the outside of the creature previously. And cool. Some of the areas near the tips have dried up substantially and are beginning to crack. Um, considering we saw the large one on on the worm, the worm itself, uh, regrow completely out of what was basically goo. Yeah, we could have a pet. Oh, pit. that wasn't my first instinct. Uh, no. We should take it to the bathtub and back into our apartment. See if we can regrow it. Leave him with Rifter, since he's back home. Yeah. You know, 
Barris, why do I get the feeling that the others are getting themselves in horrible trouble right now? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, you should probably put it in the water if you want to keep this thing for long. You think there's a way to preserve it so it stops growing but doesn't crack and turn into dust, I'm assuming? Mm. Well, the crack might be keep cutting where it up. its face is starting. You keep, keep, um, keep cutting off the edges. You so. have your assumptions, both Doppler and Akla, that using some sort of brine, such as a vinegar or an oil, might do something. Yeah. Formaldehyde, maybe. No such thing. It's formaldehyde. Okay. Right in a pickle. <gasps> Pickles. Turn it into a pickle. <laughs> Tentacles. Yes, turn it into pickle. a pickle. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. It's no <laughs> guagua, gua, but it will do. Guagua. <laughs> guagua. Gua. Gua, gua. uh, uh, high levels of acidity gua, gua. tend to be very good at stopping all kinds of growth. Permanently or only temporarily? It'll, it'll depend on what kind of magic this thing is equipped with. If it's you want not to be my careful specialty. To never, if you want to be certain to never ruin its growing effects, keep it in water, right? And then just keep cutting it every once in a while so it doesn't grow out of control. Then and won't then it multiply into yeah. many tentacles if we have then to then keep track of now? Right. Well, no, no, no. But if, if it's decaying itself into dust without water, then only put the part that you wish to keep into water, put the rest into a dry garbage disposal and works for me. Feed it to the Mimic? Feed it to the Mimic, sure, I don't care. He loves carcass. Isn't, like, acidy? Mm. Do you mind? I look, at, I look at Mimic. The Mimic just looks at you. Hmm. He said it's complicated. <laughs> what about using it as a weapon? <laughs> Spoken like a true I don't think that would go over well, but you are free to try it. I, uh, Wait, what if we ask, um, Thukholm? I you can ask him Dyer's if this could go into a weapon. I looked at Dyer's whip and back at the tentacle, and then back at the whip. And then at the pentacle. Wait, you think? I mean, I don't know. I'm not. It a will be the second time, or, or an arcane uh, tinkerer, but sure, it might be possible. Here's the thing: this is the second time I walk into that blacksmith shop with a fleshy bit and my whip, <laughs> and trying to get it to happen. I don't want to set a precedent, but it does sound like a good idea. You have a time. <laughs> well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. The goal. I well, am going to cock block, and I'm going to call the session there mostly so that I can try to think of solutions for that, but also because I'm starting <laughs> to get tired. So I'd like gotcha. to thank you all for actually showing up to be able to play the game tonight. I'd also like to thank everybody on the stream who actually yeah. came out and like supported and watched and followed. Thanks, Vix. Among other people. Woo! Thank you all. I enjoyed I'd like it. to thank all human beings. Yeah, thank you for too. hosting us all, sir. Smash that like. Thank Thanks for watching and following. Yeah. Hit that okay, follow thank button. You for... I will remember to use your Twitch Prime or... I would like to. I would like to make. Stars. I would like to make an announcement. If we can get this channel to affiliate status, I will personally donate ten gift subs. <laughs> and for every ten followers we get after, I will donate an additional gift sub. Yo, that's hype! Mm. What the frick, <laughs> dude? And, and this caps out at a total of 200 followers in total. Yo. Huge. You're crazy, dude. Yeah, my man's massive. What do we gotta do to get into affiliate? Um. There's a bunch of followers? 50 followers, um, streaming, average uh, viewers, that sort of thing. 
The the average viewers one, I think we're not gonna have a problem with because we almost yeah. always have yeah, at, at least like five people watching at the same time. Um, followers, yeah. we might need a little bit of help with. Uh, we meet the minimum number of hours. I think the only problem is that we have to stream like six different times in thirty days or something. Seven. Seven different times in thirty days. So we, there if we do like mini sessions for even just a little bit, that would probably be fine. Yeah, let's do that. Let's yeah. do mini sessions. I forgot about the uh, yeah the the times requirement. Yeah, like that number of hours one. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Like having to stream for at least eight hours. But streaming on seven different days, I'm like, eh, I guess. Nah, but but if you think about it, it's, it's pretty Just stream some hot like stuff sometime. Like, just stream your, stream your practice or something. As long as it's not super long, because I don't want to bring down the average viewers. But yeah. I yeah, all in all, good question. Uh, thank yeah, you all for awesome. watching. Oh. Even if you're uh, I'm watching after the fact. Of course, especially then. Even if no, you're if you're big. watching after the fact, you're excluded. We don't like you. <laughs> Just uh, pump it up in um, PRE. I think that could help you with publicity and getting people to watch a little bit. Definitely could. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, not really something to discuss. Yep. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Good morning. Whenever it is you're watching it. See also, ya. we are working on getting a Discord overlay working. Wow, yeah. Forgot. Re. See ya.